not destruction. The police commissioner adding that she plans to release the audio from 911 calls and both police officers' body camera footage just as soon as the family of Walter Wallace is able to review it for themselves. Now the police commissioner went on to add of the officers injured. Those injuries include from people throwing rocks and bricks, even some had blood thrown on them. Of the 23 officers injured in the city overnight, all are expected to be okay and all have been treated and released from hospitals. Behind me, you hear what is continuing all day, the sound of a security alarm going off at the lows over my left shoulder. This hairy area is very hard hit and the boards are of the businesses we're told will be open for at least a month. Chaos, violence, looting on poor Richmond streets. The anger, a direct result of unrest in the city following the Monday afternoon police shooting of Walter Wallace in West Philadelphia. For hours, there was mayhem in Northeast shopping centers. Police say lords were loaded by the car load and seized opportunities to grab anything they say wasn't nailed down. At one point, a police commander told CBS 3 the unprotected business corridor along Aramingo Avenue was a total loss. Shalom. Give all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahshua Hashem, Rakadesh. Salutation to the elders and apostles of GMS groups and ones alike, teach on rest and truth. Shalom, Rakadam to them. Double honors to the elders and apostles GMS groups and ones alike, teach on rest and truth. Shalom, Rakadam to them. Give all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahshua Hashem, Rakadesh. Those are videos relating to um, the continuing looting, rioting, and rival of the National Guards in Philadelphia. That was Port, uh, Port Richmond, which is um, uh, northeast of uh, Philadelphia, Aramingo, Ar Aramingo Avenue, around that area. Uh, a lot of businesses, a lot of establishments, Rittenhouse Square, relating to uh, a prominent um, shopping area, Philadelphia, in different parts of, the, uh, of areas of Philadelphia that's being um, um, boarded, up, boarded up, relating to their businesses and um, being broken into by protesters um, some um, temporary some maybe permanently uh, I'm gonna go read some scriptures I'm gonna go to 2nd Ezra 15 and um, Second Ezra 15 14 through 19 woe to the world and them that dwell in that's a that's a warning for destruction to come upon for the sword in their destruction draw of nay, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands, guns, and different forms of weaponry. That's nations of people against another nations of people. That's civil unrest, even racial unrest, relating to racial wars and, and social and class wars. 16. Where there shall be sedition among men, even. Read that again. 
for there shall be sedition among men invading one another and they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power that's the people that's rising up against the kings and princes and they're not regarding them relating to different matters civilly civil uh, um, economical and different various things for this in this case here would be uh, relating to police brutality against certain groups of people and various other things uh, in this country and abroad so they are taking the power and they're they are taking the power put the powers in their hands the rising up against the kings and princes sedition mutiny insurrection which is violent uprising a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to martial law which we had a precursors of that earlier this year in the city for example in Paris, man, cars were trying to line up to get out of that city. They were on pre-lockdown. They were on pre-lockdown, and they were um, trying to get out out of there. You know what I mean? So, various um, um, major cities here experience relating to pre-lockdowns in uh, cities abroad, such as France. For because of their pride, the city shall be in trouble. The city's going to be in trouble, man, because of what's going on, the violence that's going on. The houses shall be destroyed. Houses, businesses, establishments, they're being destroyed, they're being looted, they're being rioted. They're using this as an excuse to do it. You got agent provocateurs. You got ones who are exciting purposely violence and using this as an opportunity, being opportunist to... Uh, to loot and riot and do foolishness, man, by using this situation, man. We'll read that again. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Men and women are going to be afraid relating to this hellish condition, man. Relating to the things that's going to, what's happening now, and definitely what's going to, pre, is what, what's going to happen later on. A man shall have, um, yeah, number 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. He ain't gonna have no pity upon his neighbor. I don't care if he's friendly or not friendly with him. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall, but shall destroy, shall destroy their houses with the sword, which is guns and weaponry and spoil their goods because of a lack of bread and great tribulation. That's what's going to happen. When there's a lack of resources, supplies, food, which are victuals, people are going to, um, they're, going to they're not going to be in a um, calm state like they are right now. Especially when there's no food. But they're, going to, they're going to invade. They're going to break in. They're going to loot. They doing they doing it already precursively doing it in, in business establishments, in major in major stores, man. So when the stuff really happens, we think they really gonna do. They gonna go buck wild. That's what they are gonna do. We the precursors of great tribulation. That's where we're in. Sixteen and seventy, and we'll read that. For there shall be in every place, and in the next cities, a great insurrection. Every place, every city, an insurrection, violent uprising. We the precursors of it in this country, definitely abroad, in various other countries, especially in Europe and different other places, abroad, globally. And upon those that fear the Lord, that's the ones who are standing up for this truth and faith, man. They're going to come especially for them because they don't like that because this society is contrary to that. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. They're not going to spare none against the starting with the whole full lack and, uh, and people in general because of the hellish condition they're going to uh, be going through. They're not going to spare the uh, men of the Lord, the ones who are prophesying and preaching this word in truth, man. They're going to come after the trials and tribulations and persecution, man. Revelations 2 and 10, 3 and 10, 
Um, second Ezra 16, I believe, 68 through um, um, 73. And, um, yeah, and um, um, also um, Second Ezra uh, 6 chapter. And the latter verses talks about, uh, talking about that, uh, the latter verses talks about why do the Lord's people suffer, man? They suffer because that's part of prophecy. And number one, their disobedience, man, to the Lord. So they being punished. Let's get back to where I was at. Number um, They shall be like madmen, spare none, but still spoiling, destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. So they're going to take their stuff and cast them out of their houses, and maybe even worse, um, execute them and um, get rid of them. You know what I mean? This talks about specifically relating to the uh, men of the Lord. Because the society is going to be um, against the men of the Lord, they're going to be, they're going to have a bullseye on them. So they're going to be enemy number one among pretty much everybody. But you can put that also with Second uh, Ezra's fifteen and um, seven, um, fifteen and um, and nineteen. Second Ezra's fifteen and nineteen. And um, uh, Second Ezra sixteen and and um, seventy two because that relates to home invasion, looting, riot, breaking in. That, that relates to all that. This is just uh, relating to a few verses relating to that. Also, um, <clears throat> Ecclesiastes twelve and three and four. You know, what I mean, uh, relating to uh, that that um, that, that uh, spirit of mirth, that mirth is being taken away. Relating to that, the action, the um, the um, relating to um, 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 the workers. I will just get it. Let me get it real fast. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders, the grinders cease because there are few relating to the workers, the hustle, the bustle, the things that were once lively in action are going to be cut, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. No hope, no future, no potential for hope and future. And the doors shall be shut in the street. That's what's happening. Doors are shut in the streets. So there's uh, Philadelphia businesses, New York businesses. You know what I mean, but this relates to uh, this relates to and, the, and um, relating to um, well enough, you relates to unrest, but relating to New York relates to more businesses are shutting down. But it's a precursor, it's a, 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 a domino effect. So the doors are beginning to shut. You know, businesses and the grind, the sound of the grinding is low. The noise, the hustle, the bustle is low. It's being cut. Um, and they shall rise up a voice of the bird, and the daughters of music shall be brought down low. The music, the social entertainment, the gathering, people gathering. They're not gathering no more. This COVID virus, man, is shutting down a lot of stuff, too. That was once active, man. They're not gathering. They're putting more restrictions, more, um, more restrictions, more, um, more restrictions, and, um, on, um, you know, um, people gathering in different things. Businesses are... Are, um, are, are closing restaurants they're not in the limited capacity so they put more restrictions and more ruling on it you know so we're in the times of that that, that mirth that spirit of mirth and um, uh, that joy and stuff that's being cut it's being cut slowly man you know what I mean and that lets you know we're in the time what kinds of times we're in man we're in the times of prophecy man so things from a spiritual aspects happening that being said, I'm going to begin to end that, end this. Um, the water for listening, show up.